come from all over the globe. We're the most diverse team in the nation. We represent uh, 12 countries and nine languages. Good morning, Warriors. We're back with another season preview. This morning, I'm here with head coach Eric Zimmerman of the West Cliff men's water polo team. Coach, good morning. Good morning. How's you doing? Good, good. How about yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. Good. Um, first things first, how was your off season? Um, did you get any time to relax and just, just chill out a little bit? Yeah, I got some time to relax. It's, uh, it was nice to hang with the kids and it was, uh, it was a good summer. It was that's a great good. summer. That's good, that's good. So getting right into it, um, I know this was a huge off season for you. This is arguably the biggest team that you've had at West Cliff, um, arguably the most talented team you've had at West Cliff. Um, what were some of your focuses going into the off season as far as strategically or um, just pieces that you require? You know, um, getting guys of character mm -hmm. to commit to, uh, you know, kind of the end goal mm -hmm. and uh, believing in that. And it's going to take some time to mold that, but, but we're getting there. Definitely, definitely. Um, speaking a little bit about the pieces you've acquired, who do you feel are some of the returners or even incoming players that you think are going to lead this charge and lead you to another successful season? You, you know, we've got two or three returners that are going to be key if they can stay healthy this year. We've got Manuel Augusto, fabulous player, great talent uh, from uh, UC San Diego came over. And then we've got uh, Alexa Sisakovic, a uh, Serbian player who played in the U.S. here for many years and came to Westcliff to do his graduate school work. And then we'll, obviously the goalie position is exceptionally, you know, uh, important for us to make sure that that's secure. And we're bringing back Armin Justine, uh, probably one of the better goalies in the nation this year. So those key components, along with maybe one or two owner, uh, others, we've got uh, Vito Barnabas coming to us as well. He, he'll, he's a lefty. He'll contribute a lot as well. 16 D1s, 13 of them are, rank, uh, are ranked. Um, three ranked D3 opponents. It's going to be a tough schedule. Do you feel like you have the squad to really withstand that the entire season? You know, withstand's an interesting word. Um, you know, I, I'd like to say my approach is systematic. We face, in the first opening weekend, we face four top 10 teams in the nation. Yeah. Um, I, I'd like to have them kind of go through the emotions together early on and get those out of the way and see what we're left with and all blend together for a common goal. Um, if you could give me a word or a phrase that accurately defines this team. Yeah, I think the word is diverse. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we come from all over the globe. We're the most diverse team in the nation. We represent uh, 12 countries and nine languages. Yeah. And um, I think that these guys have already been through a lot in their life. Definitely. And uh, I think there might be a little bit of buy-in, but, but they know how to persevere. I, feel it. I, feel it. I appreciate that, Coach. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to see the progression and the growth of this program this year and just everything that you've instilled in them and the principles that they continue to push on for, uh, for this season. So I appreciate you, Coach. No, thank you. Thank, thanks for your time this thank morning. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, make sure you guys follow West Cliff Men's Water Polo as well as West Cliff Athletics to stay tuned in on all of our programs here at West Cliff. We'll see you soon.